This is uh, Todd with Defense and Safety with another knife review. This is the Mora 771. This is a carbon steel um, bushcrafting blade. And I, I think you'd re you're really going to be interested in this blade if you're big on camping, hiking, and uh, kind of bug out bags, uh, disaster preparedness. This is just an amazing, amazing knife, and for the cost, these knives, depending on the the, the model, can be as as low as uh, you know, twenty bucks, even a little a couple dollars lower, to maybe thirty. And these are made in Sweden. More knives; they've been making them for years and years and years. And bushcrafting, if you're not familiar with that, the idea is that you you take the least amount of things with you to kind of go camping and one of the primary things that you have is a, is a bushcraft knife and the idea is that this handle is oversized and rounded so that you can use it to whittle and carve and cut and do things and it there's not going to be any hot spots on your hand and it's not going to fatigue your hand you can hold it and use it for a long time it's got this uh, kind of Scandinavian style grind, Scandi grind, I don't know, but it is razor sharp out of the box razor sharp and these are obviously a machine finish but just amazing um, you can see a little bit of a it's hard to see here but a little bit of a sorry if that's not in focus let me get that focus better so they make different versions they make them in all stainless and this is in carbon steel the carbon steel it's not quite it's a little bit rough finish here and it really works good on, as for a fire starter to get a spark and the idea is that these are really good for you know feathering sticks and things to create fires, to cut notches in sticks and things to build shelters. It's a very, very good utility knife and a must-have uh, kind of in addition to a bug-out bag or to have around the campsite. And they're so cheap that you know you can go out and buy three, four, five of these. And they come in these little kind of polycarbonate. Plain. They got a nice little drain hole um, sheaths, and uh, again, they're just amazing knives. Very, very sharp, and the cost. I mean, like I said, you can afford to buy quite a few of these. And I, I'll tell you, once you get one of these, as plain as they look, and you feel it in your hand, and you feel that edge, and you go out and play around with it, and you're going to wonder why you didn't get one of these sooner. They're really great knives, um, and you know you can just Google. Uh, Mora knives and you'll find lots of them. They even have the oldest kind of version one of these where it's kind of got the red wood handle um, and Again, they make different styles. They all look very similar to this. Some have a little bit more pronounced um, Finger guard here or tang or whatever this is called now this metal does extend all the way back to about here so it is a, a full tang knife and it's again very sturdy very feels really good in your hand, uh, very sharp, and because it's a carbon steel, it's easy to sharpen in the field. So, um, you know, you, you've got a great, great uh, piece of kit uh, for for your bug out bag, and uh, I highly, highly recommend these. I'm going to buy a couple more uh, to put in our camper and in the vehicles because they're just, like I said, just an amazing little knife for the money it's just you can't go wrong so again this is the mora mine this is the 711 um but there's a lots of different models out there i think i paid 16 or 18 dollars for this i mean it's really inexpensive so you owe it to yourself to at least get one and play around with it but you probably want a couple more and they make nice nice gifts so um you know anybody who likes to camp hike you know it's like a good secondary fixed blade to throw in their bag all right, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you uh, like my channel.